Pete's Pigskin Preview spotlighting 80 area high schools from 6-man to 6-A as we get ready for the high school football season. Pete's Pigskin Previews are brought to you by Wayland Baptist University and Raider Pump and Supply. All right, Coach, first uh, remind us how friendship finished up last year and how you hope to bounce off of that into this year. Last year we finished 9-3 and three and uh, won a district championship and uh, ended up going two rounds in the playoffs. And so we were a young team this last year, so we're, we're really hoping to build, a, build off of that, uh, the season that we had last year, you know, this season. And how many offensive and defensive starters are back? We've got nine starters coming back on offense, and then on defense we've got seven starters coming back. You know, like I said, last year we were young. We lost some pretty key people last year, but we've got some good young guys that are stepping into those shoes and uh, really excited about what they can do. What do you think the strength of the team is this year? I think the strength of our team this year is, is really uh, offensively our, our skill kids at receiver and at, at QB. You know, we've got Hud Hutchison coming back, who's the leading 6A passer, uh, returning for yards per game in the state of Texas, you know, with a slew of receivers that, you know, some of them caught over 1,000 yards and some of them were very, very close. Uh, and so I think that combined with our old linemen, we got four of them coming back. I think that's really our strength. And, you know, really, I think your old line is the lifeblood of your team. And so I think we, we've got four guys up there coming back, and uh, I think they're really representing that role for us. When you look out on the field this year, what are the Friendship Tigers going to look like? Well, I hope we look good, Pete. <laughs> you know, that's what, all, what we're all hoping. But uh, I really want to just see us out there or see us get out there and really uh, uh, play good assignment football. We're always going to play hard and we're going to be aggressive, but uh, just looking for guys to do their job. Uh, talk about your non-district schedule. Non-district's tough. We open up with Coronada and then we play uh, Cooper. Then we'll play Monterey. Uh, you know, three games right off the bat there right here in the city, which are always, you know, really big games. Uh, you know, all the way around, you know, and then we'll play Abilene and then we travel to Rio Rancho Cleveland in the Albuquerque area and play the number one team out of New Mexico uh, who we played last year here and we're traveling there making that trip and playing them there this year. And then coach, uh, what's your assessment of district? You know, our district 26A is tough uh, and I think every team in our district will be in much improved uh, this year. So it's, it's always a gauntlet. It's always a grinder to to go through 2-6-A, and we open that up with Midland Legacy, who's always a tough team. Uh, but we're always going to be up for the challenge, and we're looking forward to it. And then, Coach, what are the goals this year for the Tigers? You know, our goals this year are, are number one, to, to win another district championship, and then we want to go make a run in the playoffs. But we're more concerned with what we do daily, you know, just the habits that we have from drill to drill and, you know, just from day to day uh, so that we can get, get those goals accomplished.